There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge. This is where we call home. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. In our last video, we poured the footings for the saw shack and they turned out great. We were very pleased with the final result. In this episode, we start milling up the 8 inch by 8 inch by 8 foot long posts for the front of the saw shack. If you're new here, we dropped some trees back in late May, early June, and we'll be using those logs for this project. But first, we found a late brood of baby robins, so we're pretty excited to watch these lively little ones for the next few weeks here, till they fledge the nest. So first we need to haul these logs out of the woods and get them to the sawmill. Our setup here it's just not ideal at the moment. We need to make a log arch or something similar that we can use the quad with and schlep logs around more efficiently. What are your thoughts on this? We're looking for ideas on how to maximize efficiently moving logs. Let us know in the comments or send us an email. It's a future project, but we definitely need a better way to do this. For this first log, we ended up not needing to use a tow board for the first cut because this cutoff branch actually sat right on a bunk and propped the log up just the right amount. We were curious, so we checked online. At the big box stores, these 8x8x8s are averaging over $100 a piece, US dollars. Wow, we, we feel like we're making money right now just by milling these ourselves. You'll see he placed a tow board here for this next cut, and it really does make a difference in terms of maximizing usable wood from the log. Some folks have asked us how often we're out here working on the saw shack, using the sawmill, and honestly, it all depends. Um, we have a lot of irons in the fire right now, so we work on this stuff when we can. We're averaging maybe two afternoons a week at the moment, if we're lucky. We don't do this full time. Wish we did, but gotta pay the bills, you know? With work, when it rains, it pours, and things have just been busy lately for both of us. Sometimes it's a struggle just to find a time when we're both available to work on some of these projects and do some filming. At the moment, he's just been swamped with car work, and my job is busy at the moment, too. We've got a lot of milling to do to get materials to build the saw shack. Then we have to stack and sticker all of that until we're ready to haul everything back to the build site. Chores around here are piling up. Uh, the firewood that needs to be split and stacked in the woodshed its getting out of control. We got a little solar kit to possibly use in the saw shack, so we wanted to maybe set that up and try it out just to make sure it'll meet our needs back at the saw shack before we haul it out into the woods. So we might do a trial run of that setup. We ordered some custom sized windows for our house. They came in uh, just two weeks after we ordered them. We had anticipated a much longer lead time on those, so they need to get installed. That'll be another day or two. It's apple saucing season and we like to can applesauce. So we've got a few apple trees and the transparents are ripening as we speak. So that'll be another day spent not working on the saw shack. Our list just seems to be growing. Everything here, it'll eventually catch up and we'll start checking things off the list instead of just adding more onto it. If you'd like to get a hold of us with questions or comments, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com. Or plip plop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode and want to follow our journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll see you soon.